<laughs> up that throat, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck am I doing in a utility closet with the mops and shit? <laughs> I got the mops and shit next to me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, oh, dude, okay, it's because dude is here. The teacher nigga, the teacher nigga is here. She's like, yeah, I didn't want you guys running to one another. I'm like, so you threw me into a fucking utility closet with the mop bucket? She was like, yeah, it was probably a bad idea. I shouldn't have did that. I'm like, so what, you trying to hide me from this nigga? I'm like, well, this shit don't add up. Why would you do that? <laughs> I really played myself, but I was hey, look, I look, what she did, what she did again. She, she threw me in the utility closet. I'm like, why the fuck you throw me in the utility closet? Oh, because he was he was walking through, and I didn't want you guys to see one another. Cause <laughs> what if you said something crazy to him, or what if he said something to you? I'm like, so what? You the one that fucking did this shit. Yeah. What difference would it make? Like, I'm not here to embarrass you. Isn't it? What the fuck are you talking about? So basically what you're oh just saying is, God. you know I'm not finna do no crazy shit to embarrass you, but what yeah. you're saying is you just trying to hide me from this nigga. So it made me you think, you really got some fishy shit going on. But you know, but you know what it was though? I was young and she was bad. It's like the baddest bitch I ever had. I'm young, I'm like, <laughs> you feel me? I ain't know how to handle that shit. And that bitch took advantage. Uh, you know? Damn. But I, I think I ultimately won at the end of the day though. Yeah, you still got yeah. the fuck doing that. I mean, I still fuck, but just bigger than that. I don't think shit panned out for her in life. Because I don't think she ended up staying with old dude. Not the, the teacher nigga, but the, my homeboy. I don't think she worked out. He, he taking these tri these exotic trips by himself now. You feel me? And, and she, I don't know what the fuck she got. She she got a baby with some other nigga that she don't even, they not even married. She used to harass me all the time by marriage and shit like that. I don't even think she married to her baby daddy. I don't even think they together. She went from posting this nigga about this is my baby daddy. I'm so thankful. Da, 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 to he ain't even on there no more. So you know what that means. You feel me? They not together. And she keeping the kid from the nigga. Because that's just how it go. You feel me? So I threw the bullet. I won at the end of the day, man. You know I'm sure you did. Yeah. Y'all go through yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the guy's going to give me a pep talk. Like it ain't that bad. No, I know I played bro. myself. Look, I spent nah, a thousand. Nah, you weren't early though. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that ain't never had. Bro, I spent a thousand dollars on that purse, bro. But I was a sucker, like as a kid. I ain't gonna lie, man. We on Glock TV. I remember being like in high school, being like 16, 17, like with my first girlfriend, bro. You remember? You remember like Juicy Couture, that shit that Paris Hilton and she used to wear back in the day, like the pink jogging suits and shit. In the, in, the, in the perfume <laughs> So it was her birthday I went out and bought her a fucking Juicy Couture Watch this high school Nigga them bitches $100 Nigga $100 is a lot of money Nigga 16, 17 Yeah So I'm thinking I'm doing something And then And then I told her I couldn't keep my mouth shut About what I got Because I'm so excited Because I just broke the bank like, I spent $100 And I'm the man This the man You feel yeah. me So I told her what I got her I'm the man and, and she She's such a clout chaser This fucking fat bitch Gonna talk about some. Oh, thanks for giving me that. Yeah, so I want you to bring it to school tomorrow and present it to me in the library in front of everyone in the morning. <laughs> and you did. I did it. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Damn. I did it. I did it. Like Yo, I got, I got another story too, man. But like, <laughs> like, shit, back in like 10th grade, back in like, no, back in like 11th grade, like, like, it used to be this one little, it used to be this one little bitch, right? Her name was Lala, right? I think she lived, I think she was from out here too. But anyway, uh, she, I don't know, she used to be on my dick and shit. She wasn't like my, my girl or nothing like that, but she used to always be on my dick and she always used to like play around and tell other niggas so they would leave her alone. She would tell other niggas like, uh uh, you can't do that, Miguel, my boyfriend. Da, 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 da. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, she liked me. This is her way of telling, like, she liked me. She probably did, but I had jumped a gun one time. You know how, like, on like, uh, we got this thing in the Midwest called called uh, called Sweetest Day. It's like Valentine's Day, but you know they double down on that shit and, and, and get us twice. But Valentine's Day and Sweetest Day, it's the same fucking holiday. But they'll say that it's anyway. It's the same fucking holiday. Is the point? So it's in school they would sell carnations and shit. We're like, if you a nigga, you can go and buy a carnation out the cafeteria for a girl you like and they'll deliver it to the girl in class it'll be special oh, you know what I mean yeah. I'm like fuck that shit these carnations cost a dollar nigga I'm making money cause I was DJing at the time nigga I'm making like fifty dollars every time I DJ nigga I'm, you know what I mean I'm going yeah. crazy so I'm like fuck carnations I went to the local flower shop nigga and bought a dozen roses for for uh, again a hundred dollars because it was valent or uh, like sweetest day sweet. wow. and you know how florists play them niggas ain't cheap in the first place but they know on them holidays they gonna eat because niggas gonna pay whatever so they got me a hundred dollars for, for some flowers for a bitch that wasn't even my bitch right 
So I went out and bought me some new Air Force Ones. I bought me a brand new white tee, ironed it up. I got fucking creases in my jeans. This is back in the day, right? Yeah. Fresh do-rag. I come as a matter of fact. I would tell them my own <laughs> man so look i brought my new outfit to school and put it in my locker because i'm like yeah i'm gonna be fresh when i come to class and see this hoe i'm gonna see her 10th period so i was like regular all day yeah. nigga eighth period ninth period i go to my locker nigga i'm changing fresh you feel me and um yeah. they they delivered the roses to her right before our class we had together nigga we seen each other in class. I had my new outfit on. Nigga, she didn't say shit to me the whole class. She had her roses right there on the desk with her and everything. She didn't say one fucking word to me, bro. What? I left, went home. I'm like, man, she didn't say nothing to me. Maybe she was just, I don't know what it was. You so you know how like all of that, you went home and cried. I was about to. So look, you know how like. <laughs> <laughs> so you know how like they used to give out the directories in school so yeah. like parents could have the other parents phone numbers just in case whatever yeah. so uh she kept hers and she called she looked my number up and called me and now i remember like being in the studio and my dad knocking the door was like hey son there's a girl on the phone <laughs> getting excited like yeah i got bitches calling the house yeah, that's it. yeah i'm man. thinking she want to talk i'm that's like yeah. Gave the dad a high five. yeah basically i'll take this in the other room looking ass nigga so, nigga, oh, I, so it's her. She like, hey, thank you for giving me the flowers. I just wanted to call and tell you thank you. Um, and I think the bitch had me on three-way with her friend. So she didn't make the conversation long. She just like, yeah, I was just calling to tell you that I like you as a friend. That's all. Okay. Enjoy your night. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucked up, bro. I was sick. <laughs> and then she ended up dating Another nigga, not my nigga, but it was another nigga on the school. It was lame. He was just a lame nigga. Was my point? No hate and shit. He was just like lame, bro. He was like whitewashed. He was a black dude, but he was like That's how some boys his parents are from Africa, so he was like like kind of like he, he played on the soccer team. Boy was white for real, but he looked like he was uh like Arab a little bit though. But he was cool though. It was my nigga. Don't get me wrong. But the bitch ended up getting fat, fat in the face. All kind of shit. I realized, man, man, I played myself. I wasted my money. I look goofy as hell and shit. Her name was Lala. So every time my niggas used to see me in the hallway, they'll be like, Lala, Lala, <laughs> I love you. They used to say that shit to me, bro. Damn. You feel me? But, yeah, man. Your boy was a sucker. Right, with these hoes. You ain't never been no sucker, huh? Hey. Hell nah, man. I ain't gonna lie, I had a bitch that fucked one of my homeboys, though, one time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't, uh, you know what I did, though, I went and fucked the home, though. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a body for body. Body for body. <laughs> body for body. You know, you know. First of all, I ain't give a fuck. I, mean, I always had, I always got the bad hoes in school. Yeah, you I wasn't broken, mind, you I wasn't. broken fuck, though, brain had shit. You wasn't. Home, I, my homeboy used to be trapping like a motherfucker. He was like, man, you might as well start hustling, man. I'm like, man, no, man, no, man. Yeah. They talked to you into doing it, like paid in full? Yeah, man. They want to let you fucking uh, wash clothes and shit for a living? Yeah, man, I was trying to do I already could do it. That's why I didn't want to do it. You know, you already can, let me get a nap. You already can do some shit. You like, man, I'm going to try something else. That's easy. I can always, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can always. That's easy. really supposed to be a barber that's what your old man wanted for you no. he been telling you son you need to go to trade school go to barber school son no, my, dad, <laughs> my dad ain't tell me nothing my dad ain't tell shit my dad let me make my own decision really? he didn't tell me my mom kept talking about military that was it yeah. i'm tripping with that military shit military I think everybody mom would have mentioned the military to him. Yeah. yeah. Especially when they can't pay for you to go to college or some shit yeah. like that. Yeah. I said, fuck that shit. I'm going to get it out the mud. That's crazy, bro. You go from one institution from being at elementary, eight hours a day, all the way until you go to high school. Then they tell you how to go to the military. Both our parents do not want to raise their kids, bro. It's the same with college, though. It's the same concept. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's Stay away from me as long as you can. Then look, bro, I was broke. 
So I had plenty of game to say to them all, you feel me? Yeah. I, I, I was running plenty of game. I used to, sometimes, niggas I used to fuck with, they were cool, but I used to hit them niggas up, though. Nigga, you were my cousin, I don't know about this shit. Fuck that. Fuck that. I knew yeah. everybody to hit their home, they homeboy girl, so. Man, that nigga, we would talk, one nigga about to talk to the other girl, but the other girl, she was tripping, man. She was yeah. on some friend last shit. Yeah, she got the so, friend zone. Look, look, so she wasn't even, she wasn't even on what I was on. Yeah. To, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I hit my homeboy girl, like, he, but he wasn't even on what I was like, so I'm like, shit. I'm like, look, then she's like, uh. Trying to play me like, oh, you, you don't look better than me. I don't give a fuck about all this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this thing, you know, she said all that, boy, and this thing, you know, I'm, I'm sneaking in her house. Smashing it. Smashing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your, uh, your man said something about the, uh, the zip. What are we getting a zip from? Oh, what? Look, change the shit out of this bitch. Man. I used to go off in school, boy. Then one bitch told me, me oh. One bitch, I'm like, all right, I'm thinking I'm finna let my cousin fuck and my other homeboy fuck. I'm thinking she don't go like that. She, it, cause it, but at first, I'm like, you don't let me fuck? She like, nah, I told that bitch to get out of my house. She was like, ooh, you disrespectful. You a rude little motherfucker. And she said, she shit the door, and she takes my phone and said, um, yeah, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> she had, I kicked the bitch off right before. She ain't come back, bro. Man, that bitch came back. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I said, this bitch came back. They always come back. I know I'm rude as fuck. I know I'm being rude. I yeah. You can't be nice to them, bro. If the world ain't set up for that. Yeah, she like, this, this nigga. You got to think, take bro. take advantage when you, when, you, when you come off. And then you go back. Just no. look, look how, no, no, no. Look how the men used to treat women back in the day, day. I'm talking back before all that. You know, what's not shit, bro. You should treat them like shit, bro. That's it, yeah. man, bro. For real. Yeah. I treated him like I shit, bro. I wanted to fuck this bitch since junior high school. This bitch had some big ass titties. She wasn't all that pretty, but that bitch titties. That bitch had, man, that bitch had some big titties. Why? <laughs> I need to <laughs> train the school. Look at that titties. Look, 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 look. You ain't got them, bro. That bitch pussy was better than some fine ass hoes out of fuck. Boy, on uh, God. On God. On bro. God, it be like that. I'm like, shit. Oh Damn. God, bro! Them ch- bro, look, the chubby one, ugly one. Them ugly bitches, ugly bitches with the big titties. Look, she wasn't even chubby or none of that. She was thick. She was just, she was thick. She just ain't look all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, one of them be looking all that be stupid, baby. Stupid, man. Good, man. Man. Talking about tight, all that. Them skinny bitches that. They should no. Look, then at first I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm trying to be easy on the hoe, cause I'm like, she probably ain't, ain't fucking. You know what I'm saying? She like, what's wrong with you? You acting like you scared. Oh. You went crazy. Man, I went crazy, man. Had to come out and bust the condom and everything. <laughs> Cheap as hell. Okay. Is it cheap as, cheap as hell? My wife and I go back home. I don't got no more. I, 
I pull off in that bitch car. <laughs> Man, every time they get on the phone talking that shit, yeah. it happens every time. Yeah. Every time, bro. Bitch, you made me come on, bitch. I'm gonna pull off in your fucking car and I'm gonna come back for three days. Every time I talk that shit, them numbers, bro.